Hey guys, how are you? It's April from Mama Loves Food. Oh gosh, look at that. Hello. Hi. Hopefully you guys can see what we're doing here and I am in the screen. Anyway, say hi when you pop on. I know it's been a really long time and I apologize. Can you believe we missed the entire month of November? Anyway, we're going to do a super easy recipe tonight. We're going to do egg roll in a bowl and we're actually going to take it one step further. I've been eating a lot of burritos for lunch. Uh, well, not really burritos, but things wrapped in burrito, taco, whatever shells. Um, but I've been buying them at the market and I feel like I'm going to stuff some egg roll bowl, egg roll stuffing. Hi, Alice. Um, I'm going to stuff some egg roll stuffing and some burritos and freeze them so that I'm not buying the $2.50 burritos at the grocery store every week. Um, anyway, hi, Miss Jamie. Hi, Bobby. Hi, Amanda. Hi, Kelly. Hi, Alice. Okay, I'm going to pop over here and do the sharing real quick and then we're going to go ahead and get going. Sorry, I took um, a hot minute. I... Um, apparently think I'm a beauty YouTuber now because I had to do a full face of makeup. I don't know what my deal is. <laughs> hi, Tony. Hi, Carly. Hi, Ruby. Hi, Catherine. Okay, I'm going to pop over here. We're going to do our um, our sharing. I hope everybody's had a great fall so far. It's still really hot here. We had one like moderately cool day that was like 78 or so, and... Um, and then it's been hot again. So I'm really hoping that we are going to start cooling off soon. Ready to turn the air conditioning off. I think my husband already has turned the air conditioning off. Anyway, hi Miss Robin. Hi Peyton. Hi Beverly. Hi Myra. Hi Patricia. Hi G is it Glenda. Hi Carolyn. You guys all look beautiful tonight. Thank you for joining me. So we're going to copy this. We're going to bring it over here. Where is it? Um, I'm not getting the, <laughs> I'm not getting the notifications from own lives. Thank you, Facebook, for that. Can't believe it. Where have you been? I know we've been, um, I'm traveling mostly, traveling, and then we had a week where we were sick, and don't kill me, but we're traveling, I'm traveling, we, not we, just me, I'm traveling again next week, so, um, I knew I had to come on because I was worried you guys wouldn't forgive me. <laughs> Anyway, also, I missed you guys. It's been a minute. Okay, so let's do this. We're going to share two. How is everybody? Hi from Boston. Thank you for sharing, uh, Anne. Is that Anne? Grace, thank you for sharing, Grace. Four inches of snow in Minnesota today. I'm so jealous. It's so hot here still. Okay, we're going to share two. Miss Lynn's page, 365 Days of Baking and More, which, by the way, we still need. You guys need to help me with my campaign to get Lynn here to do a live together because I still think that would be super, super fun. All right, we're gonna share two. And the screen cap contest is happening tonight, so don't forget to get your awesome screenshots and put them in the group. Uh, if you're not part of the group, make sure you join our community group. We have a lot of fun there. So yes, I've been gone from here, but I have not been gone from the group. I check into the group almost every single day. The only reason I wouldn't check into the group is if I was sick. Uh, we're gonna share to you, obviously, my page. Mama loves food. Hi, Denise. Hi, Dana. Hi, Stacy. Thank you. Hi, Miss Catherine. Snowing in Manitoba. Hi, Ruby. Uh, we did a bunch of traveling. So I was in Kansas City. Then I was in, um, we did a European cruise. And then I was in Indiana. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't know. I've been all over. Some for work, some for fun. All right, sorry. We're going to share to Miss Jen's page, Princess Pinky Girl, another one I'd love to do live with one day. Hi, Miss Bridget. Hi, Lisa. Hi, Carrie. I'm sorry this is taking so long. I'm a little bit out of practice, and Facebook has changed their sharing a little bit too, so it takes one more click now. Anyway, but for those of you just tuning in, we are going to do egg roll in a bowl tonight. Super easy, super delicious, and then we're going to take it one step further. We're going to wrap it up in burrito shells. Um, so we're going to share this to Miss Holly's page, Quirky Mama. I talked to her just earlier today. Hi, Miss Lisa. Hi, Carrie. Hi, Rosie. Hi, Sunita. Hi, Tony. Hi, Patricia. Okay, um, and then we're going to share, I think that might have been the last one, but let's double check. She don't love you Oh, and of course, Stephanie's page. So next week, I'm going to be in Toronto with Miss Stephanie. Da, 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 da. 
What uh, I was visiting pig farms in Indiana. It was really cool. I've never I had never been on a pig farm before. I'd been on a dairy farm. I'd been on um, corn and soybean, and uh, so we did a pig. We did a tour of several pig farms. It was really neat. Okay, now we're gonna share to the uh, group. Come on, you can do it. There we go. Dun, dun, dun. Hi, Miss Jennifer. I miss you, Miss Carrie. Hi, Annalisa from New Zealand. I love it. Is it really early in the morning there for you or really late at night? I feel like you guys are almost 12 hours different, which would mean it's like 9, 10 o'clock in the morning. Am I right? I don't know. Probably not. All right. Then we're going to grab this URL. We're going to pop it over here into the Twitter. Oh, that is not what I meant to do. Nope. Please don't do that. Uh, screw that up. Let's fix that. Okay. We are live now. Come join the fun. And we want to put the link, which I thought I grabbed. Apparently I did not. Okay, let's try that again. That time it worked. Okay, text message alert just went out. And... Messenger alert is going out right now. Those of you who are not signed up for the messenger alert, make sure to sign up. Kelly can give you a link. To do that, all you do is click the link. Um, and I think you push start or something like that. Anyway, it'll tell you like when you click what to push. Anyway, should we get started? I think that's all we need to do, right? Is that all the... Oh, I'm forgetting, you guys. It's been a minute. It's been a minute. Anyway, let's grab our massively ginormous... 15 inch skillet that everybody should, whoa, the lighting just got real weird. Okay, <laughs> apparently I'm Casper the Friendly Ghost today, Casper the LaCroix drinking ghost. ghost. I think the light will fix when I put something in the pan. I think it's freaking out because the pan is super black, so it thinks that we are, um, it thinks that we're off balance. Okay, anyway, so we're going to do... Now, as I always say, those of you who have been here before, no, follow the re <laughs> I keep disappearing. Follow the recipe, not what I do, right? Follow the recipe, not what I do, because I will, oh, I'm right here, sorry, I just walked out of the screen, didn't I? Just plugging this in. Um, I will inevitably screw this up or change it or something because, I mean, I'm trying to pay attention to you and I'm trying to pay, pay attention to this. And actually today, I'm going to, and I apologize because this does have a fan that comes on. Hopefully you can still hear me. Um, I am going to kind of triple the recipe. So I'm going to double the meat and I'm going to quadruple the vegetables. Because I'm going to screw this just a smidge. See if we can fix our lighting a little bit. Um, this is a skillet. Yeah, so I have two of these. I love them. You can get them at, the wa at Walmart. Don't go to the cooking section. Go to the camping section. They are half the price in the camping section. And same thing. It's bizarro. Um, or you can also get them on Amazon. If you click, there's a link in the description of this video um, to my Amazon store. And we have them linked in there. Um, so, yeah, do as I say, not as I do. Because we're not. I'm, I'm, when I cook for myself, I'm not really a measurer. Um, but everything's measured and correct on the website so it's much safer to take it off of there so anyway we're going to start with pork sausage and you can make fun of me if you'd like because I know this is an Asian inspired recipe but I actually love to use breakfast pork sausage I don't know can you see it even it's still blown out um anyway it's breakfast pork sausage I like it because it's got a little bit of extra flavor it does not overpower. It's just got some garlic and a little bit of sage and whatnot. Um, it just adds an extra depth of flavor. I love it. It's great. You can use just plain ground pork sausage if you like. That works too. Uh, you could also use turkey sausage. You could use ground beef. Not sausage. You don't have to use sausage. You could use ground turkey, ground beef, ground chicken, um, or you could use plain ground um, pork if you like. But I like the pork sausage, and I forgot my, my special, hold on. I like it, I just think it adds just a little bit more flavor, and I enjoy that. So, you're supposed to do the princess way whenever you leave here, I know, I'm sorry. Alright, anyway, so those of you who are new here, make sure you tell me you're new, so we can 
we can welcome you with open arms into the crowd. Um, but also to let you know that you've got to join our community group where we hang out all week long. We talk about food, we talk about everything. We talk about our lives, we talk about our families. Whatever you want to talk about in there. It's pretty much allowed. I will pl please gently remind people, no watch parties in there unless they're on our network. So, spaceships and laser beams, you know, kids activity blog, um, all the ones that I name at the beginning, right? Um, now I'm blanking on everything. 365 days of baking. Those are all fine to share in the uh, Mama Lo's food group. But anything that, that's not in our network, please don't share, okay? Um, because we work really hard to just take care of the level of, I don't want to say professionalism because I'm not really professional, but um, we work really hard to cultivate, you know, our audiences and um, so we like to keep it in the family. Anywho, so now that that's over, <laughs> um... Make sure you join the community group, though. Pretty much everything. We're, we talk about all the things in there. Lots of, lots and lots of, of chitter chatter all week long. Mostly food. Let's be real. It's, it's a food group. But um, hi, Miss Karen. We are making egg roll in a bowl. So right now I just have some ground pork sausage. I was just saying you can use. I love the breakfast pork sausage for this because I feel like it adds a little bit of extra flavor. Um, but you can use any kind of ground meat to start. So we've got a few pounds of ground pork sausage in our skillet. Anyway, so join in there, and then every time we're live, we have a screen cap contest. So screen cap your best or worst, because let's be real, Kelly is um, Kelly is uh, judging it, not me. Uh, screen cap, you can do two from each show. So uh, take two good screen caps, and then after the show, there will be a contest thread in the group. And uh, at the end of the week, somebody will win a trip to Starbucks, my treats. So welcome to the newbies. Hi, Loretta. Hi, Miss Stacy. My mom is on. Everyone say hi, Mama. Mama's Mama. <laughs> so what have you guys been getting up to? I will tell you. If you guys follow my Instagram, I don't know if you do, but if you do, I'm, I'm glad. I'm glad you're there. Thanks for being there. Um, I'm not super great about... Instagram, but I do have fun with it when I do remember to put up there. So we just was hoping you would be on earlier. Sorry, Mom. Love you. Um, when I was a kid, I don't want to say every Sunday, but most Sundays, my dad would take us to the skating rink. And it was like my favorite thing in the world. And then when we were older, we used to play um, skating, roller hockey. When I was in high school, I played roller hockey. Not on a, a professional team, just, you know, pick up games. And I loved it. It was so fun. I was a skating maniac, you know. I wasn't super fancy, but I was very proficient. You know, you could kind of stop on a dime and turn and twist around and whatever. Like, I was very good at it, right? So that was 25 years ago, literally. Um, miss my Snapchats. I know, I don't do Snapchat anymore. It just got to be too many things, so... Since, since Instagram will push it over to Facebook, and that takes care of two things at once, I've, I've switched over to Instagram. So if, you go, if, you're, if you're on Instagram, you can see our stories there. I know. Sometimes I think I should go back to Snapchat, because I personally like Snapchat better, but I feel like more people are using Instagram and Facebook, so it's maybe a better use of my time. Anyway, who knows? But so that was 25 years ago, the last time I went roller skating. So Josie has been going roller skating with her girlfriends across the street um, for the past several weeks, and she just loves it. Loves it, loves it, loves it, loves it. So she decided for her birthday, which was this past Monday, so for her birthday weekend, which we celebrated this past weekend, she wanted to go roller skating. So Friday night, my parents were in town, and we all went roller skating, and you guys, <laughs> it is not like riding a bike. It is not like riding a bike. It takes, I mean, you kind of get your legs under you after about a half an hour or so, um, but man, it was still, whew, but it was so fun. It was so fun. My poor dad, though, Josie, was not paying attention. She is a little hellion on those skates. Um, and she crossed right in front of him 
and my dad hadn't been on skates in 25 years either, so, I mean, good on him for getting on that rink. He got on the rink before me. It took me about a half an hour to build up the courage to even go out. Um, but he, uh, he wiped out so hard, man. Oh, he smashed his elbow. Thankfully, nothing broken, but he, he had a pretty good bruise going the next day, so... Yeah, the skating was fun. So so we skated on Friday night, and then Josie had a birthday party for a girlfriend on Sunday, and it was skating. So I actually didn't skate for 25 years, and then I skated twice in one weekend. Like, what are the odds of that? So those of you just tuning in, hi, hi, I'm April from Mama Loves Food. We are making a big, giant skillet of egg roll in a bowl. And then we're actually gonna wrap it in some burrito wrappings to have easy lunches. I'm gonna uh, wrap them in the burrito wrappings and then freeze them and um, put them put them in the freezer for lunch. I'll just heat them up individually. Love the roller skating. I still have my first pair of skates. Oh, I love that. I wish I still had my skates. I had a pair of white skates with purple laces that I just loved so much. Um, but I wore them to death, man. Cause we used to uh, when we would when we would. Um, roller hockey, we would play on an outdoor um, surface, so they got they got destroyed. <laughs> anyway, it was really fun. Tortillas, yeah, we're going to put them in. I know it sounds really weird, but I've been eating, so our grocery store has like a section of burritos, and they've got, you know, the standard burritos, cheese and bean and meat and beef and chicken and, you know, Mexican flavors or Latin flavors. Um, but they've also got a section of, like, not Latin flavors, and I've been, love Latin flavors, don't get me wrong, but I've gotten some of the off ones and really enjoyed those too. So then I was thinking, you know, what would I, what do I make that would be good in a tortilla? So I thought I would do this. So we're gonna, we're adding extra veggies, and um, yeah, and then we're gonna do that. Okay, so this is almost totally browned. I'm gonna be brown real soon. I'm gonna add some. Hi, Miss Candace. Thank you. How low can you go? I cannot go low at all anymore, you guys. It is embarrassing how I'm just like. And every time I would, I would think I just about got like my legs about me again. I would do the whole like. Ooh. I didn't fall until the very end though. I doubt I would ever roller skate. It's been 30 years now. Yeah. I didn't think I would either, but, um, I don't remember what I was going to say. <laughs> I just lost my train of thought. So I'm just going to add a squeeze of ginger paste. So you can totally use fresh grated ginger, but I'm lazy. I'm going to add like a real generous squeeze of that. Um, I'm lazy and I just love this stuff. I can get at the grocery store in the produce section, the refrigerated produce area. We used to go roller skating back in the 60s every Friday night. That's so fun. Hi, Miss Debbie. We are cooking. Ginger. It's minced ginger in the tube or grated ginger. And then this is just garlic. Because, again, being lazy. Obviously, fresh is best. But you know what? Sometimes, just don't want to deal with it. And that's why they make things like this. This is garlic. So I'm going to just be real generous. Again, guys. Do as I say, not as I do. So look at the recipe online. I've got it linked in the description. Kelly can throw it in the comments. Um, yeah. Because I am not following the recipe right now. I'm just kind of winging it because I'm changing the amount of meat and veggies and stuff. So anyway, I always get a huge blister on my foot. Oh no, that's no good. You got better, you need better socks. Hi Kay. Um, so it's been a combination of sick and traveling. We had two colds run through the family this past month, and then I was traveling for work for a while, and then we also traveled as a family for a while, so. Oh my gosh, you guys, the ginger and garlic smells so good. And now I'm gonna put in, I'm gonna do some spicy soy sauce and a little bit of regular soy sauce. I've been getting heartburn lately, so I'm trying to go easy, but this is really good. They've got this at Publix now, Maggie. This is spicy garlic soy sauce. So I'm going to do a generous little bit of that. And then we're going to do a little bit of the regular. What kind of meat did I use? I used ground pork. I actually used, um, 
I might have gone a little overboard on that one. Um, I actually used ground pork sausage. So you can use ground pork sausage if you want the extra. Actually, maybe I didn't. Um, oh, that smells so good. <sighs> um, yeah, you can use ground pork sausage or you can use just regular ground pork. Or you can use, like I said, ground turkey if you want to keep it healthier. You can use ground beef if you want to keep it simple. Um, any kind of ground meat will work. Harper sucks. I got a lemonade at Chick-fil-A earlier today and I took like two sips and had to give it to my kids. Oh my goodness, it smells so good. Okay, so now we're gonna put um, carrots. I've just got a bag of matchstick carrots. Like I said, I'm adding way more veggies than the recipe normally calls for because this is for me for my lunches, so I try to keep my lunches a little veggie heavy. And you don't drain this because it's gonna you're gonna use the little bit of oil in there to cook the veggies. And then we're gonna put so much cabbage in. And you could absolutely shred your own cabbage. That would be you know smart. Um, but I'm just using a bag of shredded cabbage. The market. Actually, I'm going to use four bags, but we're going to cook it down a little bit before night. Don't you dare run away without giving me a kiss. He tried to run away without giving me a kiss, you guys. What kind of garbage and nonsense is that? <laughs> anyway, I hope everybody's doing well. Oh, by the way, I'm wearing the eyelashes again. I don't know if you can tell. You probably can because my eyelashes are terrible. Um, so anything that looks good is going to be not mine. <laughs> uh, I know several of you said you um, were interested in them. So I did uh, reach out to uh, Moxie Lash. And they gave me a coupon code. So if you want the coupon code, you can just put in Mama Loves Food, all one word. M-A-M-A-L-O-V-E-S-F-O-O-D at checkout. And um, it'll give you, I don't know what the, I don't know what the percentage off is, honestly. Um, but it will give you a percentage off your order. So, thank you, Miss Linda. Um, but yeah, I love them. They're the, they're the magnetic ones. So you, you get the magnetic eyeliner. And then you just, they just, boop, pop on. That's it. I'm telling you, I want to be a beauty YouTuber. <laughs> I am making egg roll in a bowl. So we just put the first bag of cabbage in and I'm going to mix in the next bag in just a second. I've got Lizzo stuck in my head, you guys. I've had Lizzo stuck in my head for like two months though, so I don't know. That's not really a new thing. Just turn down the heat a little bit. I'll probably add a little bit more soy sauce in here. Okay, we are adding a ton of veggies, but I'll do that in a minute. It's not just yet. Is that the lashes? Yes, it's the lashes with the magnetic liner. And so I bought, one of the reasons it took me so long to get on tonight is I actually bought another pair. I bought the baby lashes. And I wrongly thought that because they're the baby lashes and they're shorter, that they would also be like less intense, right? I thought they would be more like this, but just shorter. I mean, like uh, this way shorter. I was wrong. I mean, they're gorgeous, don't get me wrong. But they are like going out downtown, like wearing high heels and looking glam lashes. They were not like food cooking appropriate lashes. So I switched them. Um, but when I ordered, an, I, if you like long lashes and wear them, like for that kind of stuff, yes, this is cast iron. Um, I'm touching the handle because it's not hot. <laughs> it's such a huge pan. And my, my heating surface is not heating the entire, like, I don't know if you can see, but my heating surface is much smaller than the actual size of the pan, so it's fine. Anyway, um, yeah, they were super glam. But when I bought them, I also bought um, a mini travel size of that magnetic liner, and it's got a new, I don't know if it's new, a different applicator love it. So the applicator for the full size magnetic liner is like a normal paintbrush. It's fine. It works. You know, no big. But the the one for the mini is like 
it's like a firm plastic. Oh my gosh, I like it so much better. I love it actually. It's it reminds me more of the like a felt tip pen kind of. I mean, I know it's not, but it's got that kind of feeling to it. How do I clean my cast iron? Soap and water, and then I oil it. And I'm not I'm not really the best person at it, to be perfectly honest. It does it's my cast iron is not as well taken care of as it should be. It's a little bit embarrassing how not well it's taken care of. But the nice thing about cast iron is there's really not a whole lot you can do to ruin it. Um, my husband has the bad habit of washing it and then putting it back, like, maybe a little bit wet still, and then I'll pull it out and I'll have rust spots on it, and really, you can rehab them very easily, so. You can see this cabbage is really cooking down, which is what we want. When cleaning cast iron, use warm water. Soap is fine, that's actually a total, um, um, old wives' tale. You can use soap on your cast iron. You can, you can. Just make sure you oil it afterwards. The best practice is to lightly oil it and put it in the oven on low or put it on your stove top on low and that actually gets the oil seep back in. I don't know, there's some chemical bonding situation um, that happens when you do that, but I'm not a chemist, so I'm not going to get too into that. <laughs> uh, yeah, so it is fine to use soap on cast iron. All right, we're gonna do another package of cabbage in here. And I actually am gonna go ahead and put a little bit more, let's do a little bit more of the spicy sauce. Salt and hot water works too. You don't have to use soap. I'm not saying it's unsanitary if you don't use soap. Um, I'm saying you can use soap if you choose to. It is not going to hurt your cast iron to use soap. You look beautiful, Miss Angela. How are you? How is everyone tonight? Look at all that cabbage. Holy moly. It's going to be a cabbage heavy burrito. Who likes cabbage here? You guys, I love cabbage. I have a stupid, like insane love for cabbage. I eat it raw, I eat it cooked, I eat it roasted, I eat it grilled, I eat it every which way. This cast iron is from Walmart. I was saying at the beginning of the show, if you go to Walmart looking for this cast iron, you're going to go to the kitchen section, right? You're going to be like, where is this cast iron that April's always talking about that is at Walmart? It's not in the kitchen section. And if you find a 15 inch cast iron in the kitchen section, you are going to grossly overpay for it. Like, it's gonna be real expensive. But if you walk over to the camping section, you'll find it there. And it's only, I think it's 15 or $20. If you don't wanna deal with it, I will tell you, it is heavy, it is heavy as all get out. If you don't wanna deal with picking it up at Walmart, carrying it to your house, all that garbage, um, you can get it on Amazon for like 25, but yeah. Lodge at Walmart. So I don't know if it's Lodge. I think it's, uh, what's the other camping? They've got a couple camping brands over there. I don't think it's Lodge. It's the other one. It's 15 inch cast iron. Somebody asked something about freezing and I missed it. Could you freeze this mixture? Yes, you absolutely can freeze this mixture. In fact, the plan for tonight is once we actually get all this cooked, which is taking a little longer than I expected, um, I'm actually gonna stuff it into big old burrito flour, burrito shells, like tortillas, flour, flour, big flour tortillas, tortilla. I don't know what's wrong with me tonight, you guys big flour tortillas and then um, I'm gonna freeze those for lunches I mean, I know it sounds weird but I'm gonna do it <laughs> I love coleslaw with fish on Fridays yes Ozark trail thank you yeah I think it's an Ozark trail I know this little croy is getting me so drunk <laughs> Try not to drink on weekdays anymore. Try to be good. Oh shoot, I just turned it off. I didn't mean to do that. I'm sorry, Pan, I'm sorry. Turn back on.
Anyway, how is everyone? I bought it and it is heavy and huge. It is heavy and huge. This thing is no joke, guys. But it is fantastic. It's fantastic. Sometimes I bring it out to the grill and put it on the grill to do like really good searing. Ooh, works real well. I have been having a hard time with words today. I'm glad I'm not alone. Oh my gosh, I'm a mess. I trip over my words all the time. All the time. You are not alone. <sighs> Somebody's got to put something else in my head, man. I've got that, just like that two lines from the Lizzo song, which is a fantastic song. Don't get me wrong, but looks like you've gotten some sun. I have not gotten some sun. I am actually intensely pale. I have gotten some blush, though. Oh, that's not true, actually. I did get a little bit of sun on my chest. I wear sunscreen every single day, but everyone, sometimes I forget to put it here. I put it on under my makeup, um, but sometimes I forget to put it on my chest. So I did get a little bit of sun on my chest, but my face is intensely pale. <laughs> I like to put lots of butter in my cabbage. Yes, butter in your cabbage is good. This we're using the um, the oil from the cooked cabbage. So also super delicious. All right, do you think you guys, what do you think? Do you think we can fit that last bag of cabbage in here? I think we can do it. All right, and don't forget to get your screenshot. I'm sure I've made some ridiculous faces. Also, just a reminder, guys. Bing, bing. I don't know why. Why did I do this? Why did, I don't need air quotes right now. Bing, bing. That looked like I was grabbing someone's boobs. Um, we do have a YouTube channel. It's nothing exciting. It's the same stuff we post on Facebook. But a lot of people are um, ask me where they can watch the old shows. And while I'm not... I'm not perfect about getting the old shows up like immediately. Um, I do try to get them up. So there's lots of old shows. If you just look for Mama Loves Food on, um, I think we need some more ginger and garlic. What do you guys think? Um, if you just pull up to YouTube and type in Mama Loves Food, it'll come up. And there's, I mean, there's a couple hundred I think on there. It's not, it's not like there's none. That was a lot of ginger. <laughs> Anyway, let's use some regular. No, I just did that, right? I need garlic, that's what we need. Cast iron works great for intruders. It does if you are strong enough to pick it up. <laughs> Guys, do as I say, not as I do. Just look at the recipe. What is it you're making? Hi, Miss Luann. We are making egg roll in a bowl, a giant, giant pan of it, and then we're gonna put it in a bunch of burritos. We're gonna put in a bunch of tortillas. I keep saying burritos. Tortillas, we're gonna put in a bunch of tortillas. We just put the last package of cabbage in. We're gonna let that cook down. And then we're gonna put it in some burrito. Tori tortillas, oh my gosh, burrito sized tortillas. You guys are making me very jealous with your talk of snow, I'm not gonna lie. It is so hot here still. As you can see, I got sunburned. I mean, I know you can get sunburned in the snow, but it's less likely, I feel like, unless you're out skiing or something. What are you guys watching these days? Tell me, tell me. I caught up on the most recent season of Schitt's Creek, which, I just love, I just love, I just love, I just love so much. Um, I'm currently watching Designated Survivor, which I'm enjoying way more than I expected to. I kind of turned it on because my dad was visiting and he likes political shows, so I thought it would be one we could watch together, and I got totally into it. It's with Kiefer Sutherland, and it's like, the Capitol gets blown up, so he's he was the Designated Survivor, so he was the guy that put away from the Capitol, and... So he's like some random housing development, urban development guy, and um, they're like, hey, surprise, you have a good president now. So it's really interesting, and he's a, he's a, he's not a Democrat or a Republican, he's um, an independent, so, I mean, obviously it's a total uh, made-up show, but it, and it's lots of ridiculous scandals in it, but... It's fun. I like it. And I think Cooper Sutherland's a great actor, so I'm enjoying that one. Finished 
the last of atypical oh i haven't watched that yet oh i did watch the one with paul rudd living with yourself or living with myself i liked it i mean i think i'd, I'd like i'd watch paul rudd drinking a cup of coffee right he's just so cute so um designator and survivor was so good yes um so no they don't have any new shows they actually canceled it so i think there were two seasons on cable and then Netflix picked it up and did a third season. And then I think the third season is it. I think they canceled it. Um, how do you reheat this? In the microwave. Or you could do it in a skillet. Just add a little bit of water. And put it in a skillet and reheat it. And then saute the water out. If you don't want anymore. I am tone deaf today. Sorry about that, guys. Raising Dion. Oh, I haven't heard that one. Smoke your fire. All right, we're almost cooked down. I mean, we could, you could cook cabbage down to almost nothing, but you want, I like a little bit of body to it still, you know? All right, I'm gonna grab some green onion from our windowsill and put it in here. Do you guys do this? I, I just buy them and then I, I cut them and then they regrow and I cut them again and they regrow. <laughs> so we're gonna cut them. We'll let these regrow. And introducing my teens to awesome 80s movies. Yes! So we have actually have on Fridays, Fridays and Thursdays sometimes, um, but mostly Fridays, we do family movie night at home. And we will watch an old 80s movie. And we, um, yeah, it's so fun. I love it. We recently watched Can't Tell Mom the Babysitter's Dead. We did Beetlejuice. We did, uh, I know this one's a 90s one, but we did Hocus Pocus. Uh, we did High Spirits. Love it. Ooh, Downtown Abbey's. Down, Downton. I know it's not Downtown. Downton Abbey's a good one. Um, I'm also still watching S.H.I.E.L.D. I keep going back to it. I really like it. I know it's a little bit nerdy of me, but... Oh my gosh, did you guys watch the new Spider-Man? I know it's not super new, but the most recent Spider-Man. I watched it on the plane um, on the way home, and I loved it so much that we've rented it twice since I got home. And I'm not usually a movie repeater, but, man, I really liked it. I thought the writing was so good. And that, that Spider-Man, that actor plays a good Spider-Man. Love Downton Abbey. 16 Candles. Oh, that's a classic. I don't think my kids are quite old enough for that one, but close. My son is, my oldest is turning 13 on the 21st, and he reminds me of it every chance he gets. <laughs> my kids have been requesting to watch The Addams Family. Yes, we, my kids about, uh, I guess it was last Halloween time, um, I put on Addams Family, the movie, and they loved it. I'm just dropping things. And they loved it. So I was like, well, if you like this, let's try the old shows. And they powered through them. They loved them so much. So that's a good one. That is definitely a good one. So that's not nearly as much um, green onion as I would normally put in this much <laughs> um, egg roll. But that's okay. So you could also put some sriracha in here or some sweet chili sauce, some sesame seeds. Um, there's, I mean, all kinds of stuff. You could throw green beans and broccoli and, I mean, it, it just, it's a really versatile situation we've got going on here. Okay. Taste it. It's so hot. I don't want to burn myself. It's so hot. We'll taste it in a second. Let's, um, I'm not worried about it. I know it'll taste good. We, got, we put all good tasting stuff in there. Um, but we will taste it. I'm going to let it cool off just a smidge. It's so hot right now. Uh, we're going to scoot that. I am not putting egg in there. There's actually no egg in egg roll filling. Did you know that? Mm, it's good. It's very good. Okay. Ooh. Got a little bit of spice in there. Okay. Let's go ahead and fill these tortillas. Oh, let's get a real big spoon. And a real big spoon. Salt and pepper. So there's lots and lots of salt in the um, soy sauce. 
And since I put the spicy soy sauce in there, there is also pepper. So we are covered on salt and pepper. Yes, if you use just a plain soy sauce, you will want to put some pepper. You will not necessarily want to put some salt though. Hi, Miss Haley. I am from the UK, so I was a little confused. No worries. Sweet chili sauce is delicious. And they just started carrying it at my market, and that makes me so happy. We have a um, taco place near us called Tijuana Flats. Do you guys have Tijuana Flats? I think it might be only in Florida. Anyway, and they have a sweet chili sauce, and I just, they give you those like little containers that you can pour on your thing. It's got like a hot sauce bar, and you're supposed to fill the little containers and bring it back. No, I bring my whole taco over, and I put it under the pump, and I just go, <laughs> super classy like that anyway all right we're just going can you guys see what I'm doing I think you can I think we've got the camera down enough all right I'm gonna pull this a little closer okay I'm actually gonna pull it even closer because I don't want to make a giant mess there we go that's better that's better I'm home from the U oh you just said that Anyway, so what did your kids dress up for Halloween? We had, if you saw the pictures, we had a like Grim Reaper ghoul type situation. We had a zombie. We had a purple witch. And we had a guy from Thriller. I don't know, were those zombies too? Did we have two zombies? Where are you? How many kids do you have in ages? Hi, Miss K. I live in Florida. I'm just uh, about an hour northeast of Mickey Mouse. All right, what was the other question? I have five kids, and my kids are almost 13. That's a terrible rolling job. Almost 13, 11, and almost 13, 11, 10, 8. She just turned 8 this week and six. There we go. We've got our burrito. Look at that. Yay. Okay. So I'm just going to, what I'm going to do is I'm going to line, I'm going to fill this pan with burritos and then I'm going to actually freeze the pan flat. And, um, and once they're frozen, I will transfer them into a gallon bag or I can individually wrap them. And, um, that way I can just grab one out for lunch when I'm hungry. Cause, um, I kind of work from home. So we have, ah, uh, thanks Miss Patricia. Um, I have a, a trailer in the backyard, an RV, and that's where I work from. So I can just sneak in and grab lunch when I need it. Or I can just bring them out to the trailer. Although my freezer in the trailer is like this big, so I can't keep a whole lot out there. Um, I'm pretty excited about this though, you guys. Oh, did that one just split? No, it didn't. I thought it split. Burrito number dos. All right. Brian says you soon have. What do I soon have? My hands are full. That's true. A lot of kids. They're fun though. They're stressful. Nobody tells you how stressful kids are before you have a man. Or maybe they do and you just can't hear it until you have them. Is that what it is? I don't know. Kids are The Babysitter is an old movie but it's so funny. Oh, I've never heard of that one. The next one on our list is Don't Tell Mom the Babysitter's Dead, though. And then I was wondering if, um, what's the one where they, it's going to sound morbid, they, um, carry the dead guy around all weekend? Weekend at Bernie's. I was thinking that one might be fun. <laughs> I don't know if it's appropriate, though. I'm not really sure. If he don't love you anymore. Um, I was going to ask you guys something. I think that combination would be great even without the tortilla. Yeah, so normally I serve this without the tortilla. When we make this for family dinner, there's no tortilla involved. It's just it's just the big skillet of um, unstuffed egg roll. Um, but I'm doing this as just an easy way for lunches for me. Just an easy lunch idea kind of into burritos lately, so I don't know. Thought I'd do something different. <laughs> so what have you guys been cooking lately? I've been using my instant pot a lot. I did a bunch of shredded 
pork loin, which by the way, I posted in the, you guys, are you guys in the Instant Pot group? I'm in the Instant Pot group and I post in there pretty regularly. So I posted my pork loin that I put in and said I was going to make shredded pork loin the other day. You guys, people have some really strong feelings about shredding pork loin. <laughs> They're very adamant that you can't shred pork loin. You can only shred, um, what do you call it? Like a picnic or a shoulder or a butt. Um, I'm just here to tell you, you can shred a pork loin. <laughs> a pork loin shreds just fine. It really does. Also, it's like way lower in calories and fat, so. Not that you always need that. I mean, look, I definitely cook my fair share of butts and, and picnics and shoulders. Um, but, 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 you can definitely do a pork loin too. It's just a little drier. It's like doing white meat versus dark meat. Got the Vortex, love it. What's the Vortex? Oh, oh, is that the new, um, the air fryer version of it? I keep hearing about it. Oh, that's good to hear. I've never used an air fryer, so I don't know. I made a taco bake tonight. Yum! I'm looking for a new soup recipe thoughts. Girl, I have so many soup recipes on the website. Kelly, can you pop a link to our, our soup category? We've got some good soups. What are you in the mood for? The most popular one on our website is the potato soup. Tried and true. Damn good. Everyone loves it. If you want something a little different, we've got some curry soups. We've got... Um, Beef and beef and we've got cabbage soups. I've got a few different cabbage soups. We've got um, vegetable beef soup is really popular. Yeah, we've got lots of soups. Lots of soups. Okay, I need to get a new tray. I'm making lots of burritos tonight, guys. I'm pretty excited about this. Sorry, Anthony. Sorry, I'm still here. Look, see, here's your princess wave. <laughs> Anthony says I have to use a princess wave. Like putting a run London broil in a crock. What's happening? I like the egg roll mixture over cauliflower flour rice. Yes, delicious. Totally agree. Totes agree. Guys, oops. Um, I might even have some enough to give the kids for dinner tomorrow because <laughs> I might run out of burritos. I've heard people talking about dill pickle soup. Um, yeah, dill pickle soup is delicious. It's very good. I've made it. I don't think we have... Kelly, do we have dill pickle soup on the website? I don't think we have that one on the website, but I've definitely made it. It's yummy, yummy. I mean, you've got to like dill pickles. <laughs> good night, Chris. Thanks for hanging out. There you go. Kelly's made it too. Yeah, it's delicious. Very good. Very, very good. Here, let's put this one back on this tray. Do Peter love it anymore? What's the mix we're using? Hi, Miss Monica. We are using, it's just unstuffed egg roll. So it's egg roll filling, basically. But instead of putting it in an egg roll, I'm just putting it in a, in a big old tortilla shell. So it's like a egg roll burrito. Just a little bit of fusion happening here in this kitchen tonight. And I, like quadrupled the amount of veggies so it's real cabbage heavy so let's hope not anyway uh no I don't have a recipe yeah I didn't think so I know I've made it but I can't remember guys we've been doing the website can you believe it uh 11 years we're going into our 12th year is that nuts nuts, nuts. this show is going into its fourth year right Kelly am I right on that I think it's fourth year Crazy. Yes, I microwave them. Oh, there's the pot tray is full. Also, I made a mess of this one. Let's try that again. There we go. That's better. There we go. Yes, I microwave them. Just like uh, 60 seconds on each side. And they're messy, I'm not gonna lie, they're messy. But, um, so yummy. Eat it over a bowl and then you'll have your burrito 
And then you have your leftovers, you have an egg roll in the bowl when they all the leftovers will fall out, right? <laughs> um, yes, you started doing lives in 2016. Yeah, crazy. Crazy. And, oh, I overstuffed this one. That'll still be yummy. There it goes. There she goes. Mossy. Oh, messy is good. Yeah, sometimes it is. Not when it means you need to buy a new keyboard, though. <laughs> I eat lunch over my desk. Kind of tempted to just put these in foil. What do you think? Should I put them in foil and freeze them? Or should I just freeze them on the tray? I don't know. Kelly, every week that I say I'm doing a live, she's like, can't we just go to bed early tonight? <laughs> These lives keep creeping later and later. Can't help it. The kids get older. I started this show and my oldest was, what, eight? Yeah, eight. He's turning 13. Eight-year-olds go to bed a lot earlier than 13-year-olds. Also, eight-year-olds don't have middle school track practice or skate parties. <laughs> what was the spicy sauce you used? It's just a, um, it's a garlic chili soy sauce. Can you guys see that? Is that coming? If you don't have that, you could just put some sriracha in there. It would be delicious. In full, you can't microwave. Yeah, that's true. Good point. Good point. What about the book? Is it done? Oh my gosh, you guys. That book. The book is the bane of my existence. So close. Okay, so, so, I will tell you. Here's the thing. Double-edged sword, right? This year has been my busiest year ever um, with work. Like, crazy busy, which is wonderful. I'm so happy that things are going well and, you know, we're progressing in our business and that's so so good but it means that my personal projects like this book are sadly falling by the wayside so it is so close to being done like stupid close it's fully written it's in the editing process the website is up as you guys have seen it's just waiting for a buy now link and um so you guys know last year I went to Toronto in November and I said I'm gonna finish this book in Toronto and so I did I finished writing it and that was when we started the website like getting the website which I learned at that time that making a website is a lot harder I mean it's not the same as having the type of website I have um, so um, I, I learned that it was a lot more involved anyway but the process started then and I finished writing it then um, but it just keeps getting put to the side, which I hate. I hate. I want to get it to you guys. I want it to be done. But I also want to put out a product that I'm proud of, right? Like, I don't... I have friends that keep saying, just, just send it out how it is. And I would be embarrassed to send it out how it is now because I know there's typos in it. I know there's at least... There's got to be a couple issues with recipes. You know, I need... I need a hot minute. So anyway, I'm going Monday to Toronto again. I'm going to spend a week and... The goal is to have it fully edited by the end of the week. Now, I have to say with a caveat that this is quarter four and I have several contracts that are could come through at any time. And if they come through, then there's no way I'll be able to spend the entire week working on it. So, yeah, like I said, it's a double-edged sword. How long will these last in the freezer? Oh gosh, these will last in the freezer for six months easily. Long time. Uh, somebody asked what the book is. I'm sorry. I would just assume everybody's been here forever. So the book is Dinner Hero. You can go to dinnerhero.com and kind of read about it. And it's a it is a cookbook, but also it's a cooking method. So if you've been on this, if you've been watching the show for a while, you know that I do a lot of pantry cooking. So my pantry always has certain staples. I always have certain canned vegetables or frozen vegetables. I always have pre cooked. Um, proteins um, that's a really really big way that I've been able to handle having five kids and working full-time is 
this make, way of cooking, right? Um, and it's cost effective. So I wrote a whole book on how to do it. <laughs> and there's like 75 recipes in there for you. And I really want to get it to you. <laughs> um, so yeah. And part of it that made it more difficult was that I really want it to be a binder, right? Because I want to be able to um, have additions come out because I know that there's more than 75 recipes in those ingredients, right? So um, I didn't want to do a book that you couldn't add to because I want it to be cost effective for you guys too. I don't want you to have to buy a full new book every time we come out with, you know, a dozen more recipes. So um, you guys talk about Kismet. This is the last one and there is exactly enough for one more in here and I could not be happy about this situation. Um, anyway, so that's where we're at with that. You guys are sweet. Um, but it is driving me a little bit crazy because I, I just, I feel a little bit like a failure. I really thought it would be when I said last year at this time that it'll be out in 30 days. Like I was not lying. I meant I was, I, I really honestly, truly thought it would be out. I thought you would be able to buy it for Christmas presents. And now I'm like, I don't know. I don't even know if it's going to be out 30 days from now. So I'm very, I'm very frustrated with myself. But at the same time, like I said, I'm glad, I'm glad work's been busy this year. How many did we make? Okay, so hold on. Let me, um, let me wrap this last one and we will count them. Because I don't know how many were, tortillas were in these packages. Do you do you just thaw them? So I just um, put them. I just thaw them in the microwave when I'm ready. I'll pull them out, frozen, nuke them for 60 seconds on each side, and they will be very hot when you do that, but um, not too hot to eat. Just be careful. Okay. Yay! Oh my goodness. Okay, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. 17. That seems like a very strange number. Those are two new packages of tortillas. So, it says there are eight tortillas. I must have miscounted. 2, 4, 6, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. They gave us an extra tortilla. And, like, what are the odds? Because if they had not given us that extra tortilla, we wouldn't have fit everything, but we did because they gave us an extra tortilla and I just feel like that's really special. <laughs> Michelle votes for foil wrap. Um, so I'm kind of tempted to do the foil wrap because once they're frozen, I can unwrap the foil. Right? I don't know, but also it seems like they'll last longer if we wrap them in foil. They won't freeze or burn as quickly. So let's just do that real quick. We'll, we'll do some foil. My hair is getting long. I know. It's getting so long again. I keep going back and forth. I actually just had a hair appointment last week. And uh, I keep going back and forth on whether to cut it. I really like it short, but it kind of drives me crazy when I can't put it in a ponytail. But ponytail season's kind of over. You know, summer's over, so I don't know. What do you guys think? All right, so now I can just stick them straight in the freezer, though, so that's convenient. When I need to try to be, gonna be frugal with the foil. Are you guys have this fun? Feels so grown up. Bonus tortilla, right? We love bonus tortilla. Bonus tortillas are great. How many? How many? Burritos do we think are gonna explode when we transfer them over the foil though? Wrap them in so I actually don't use saran wrap and it's only because I personally have never been able to make saran wrap stick to anything. I don't know if I am just like a weird alien or what, but saran wrap has never in my life worked for me. So we don't have saran wrap in our house. <laughs> I don't know. I can't get it to work. I'm broken. Well, I'm super glad we could do this, you guys. I'm sorry that I won't see you next week. I will try to come. I will try to come on live from Toronto and say hi, like we did from the hotel room last time. How can you not eat one of them? Okay, so I will tell you a confession time, right? 
Um, so my son and I went to the grocery store right before the show to get the ingredients. And I... <laughs> I love my husband. I love my husband. Dearly, madly, deeply, since I was a young girl. But, he can't cook. He's not a good cook. Um, so he, was, he made dinner tonight, which was lovely. Appreciated it so much. So much, right? Thankfully he doesn't want to do <laughs> Um, so he made this like really horrible dry chicken that was super peppery. So, yeah, we had a few bites to not be rude, and then when my son saw that I was going to the grocery store, he was like, hey, can I come too? Because he knows my MO. <laughs> so we went to Chick-fil-A. So I actually just had a chicken sandwich right before the show, um, and I'm very full. <laughs> Which is the only reason I'm not eating one of these right now because they do smell amazing. I'm super excited for lunch tomorrow. So I will definitely be eating one for lunch tomorrow. Um, but yeah. Um, so by the way, speaking of Chick-fil-A, do you know what I just learned? So one thing I never liked about Chick-fil-A, I mean, there's, there's, let's, not going to get political, but there's a lot of things I don't like about Chick-fil-A, but food-wise, one thing I really never liked about Chick-fil-A was that um, their fries are like underdone, right? They're real squidgy. I just always kind of ugh about the fries, which is probably a good thing because it means I don't eat as many and I usually get a chicken sandwich, so it's really not a terrible meal, except you guys, what I learned is that you can ask for them crispy. Who knew? Uh, Diana, we made 17. So that is 17 lunches taken care of right there. Wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. Um, yeah, so you can ask for them crispy. And they are amazing. They're so good, crispy. Um, so now I have a Chick-fil-A fry addiction. That's great for my waistline. Good gravy. Flavorless. Yeah, but when you ask for them crispy, it means they send them through the fryer twice, which means they get salted twice, which means they are not flavorless, and they're crispy, and my mind is just blown. And it's like the only place I would trust to ask because they're just so nice there. You ask for them crispy, and they're like, absolutely. They're so happy. Oh my gosh, it's crazy. Hi, Ernest. We're glad you're here. So yeah, next time we go to Chick-fil-A, ask for the fries extra, extra crispy. It's like a whole new world. A whole new world. A new exile. That is not the right words at all. Those, those are not the right words. I can't speak English apparently tonight. Yeah, I love my fries crispy too. They're so good. I will say, I'm typically a McDonald's fry girl. I do love McDonald's fries. But lately, guys, I'm such a, I'm a junk food junkie. I'm the worst. I should not be a food blogger. I mean, I should be because I'm a good cook, but I should probably lay off the McDonald's. Um, anyway. Lately, the McDonald's near us really hasn't been salting them. And I'm kind of afraid at McDonald's to ask for anything extra because I don't feel like you get the same level of service. I mean, they're fine. They're not bad at McDonald's, but it's not quite the same. All right, let's see. Gallon bags. I just discovered macaroons. You need to make them on the show. Oh, Deborah. Oh, Deborah. I am so honored that you have that much faith in me that you think I could ever make a macaron. Um, that's not gonna happen. <laughs> they are, okay, so first of all, I will say, um, they, they don't actually recommend doing them in humid climate. So that in and of itself kind of disqualifies me to make a good macaron, which maybe is a good thing. Like maybe it will just be an excuse why my macarons suck. 
Um, but also, I mean, I'm like just barely able to bake. Like I made a coffee cake recently that came out amazing. Um, but also it was inspired by Aunt Becky's recipe, so I didn't really make it up completely on my own. I mean, that's really as far as I go as coffee cake, let's be real. I mean, if you could make macarons from a, a, ba a bake mix, then I'm all here for it. Burger King hamburgers and McDonald's fries. I gotta say, I love a McDonald's hamburger. I love that little, it's so dinky and like tiny and I just, I just love it. It's sweet and cute and makes me happy. I mean, I do love a Burger King burger, don't get me wrong. Although I think Wendy's burgers beat Burger King burgers. What do you guys think? Wendy's or Burger King? We don't have an In-N-Out. I saw that somebody said you can ask for crispy fries at In-N-Out. We don't have In-N-Out here. I don't know if it's um, just in, I don't know if it's no In-N-Out's in Florida or just in our area, but we definitely don't have any In-N-Out's nearby. Not a huge fry, but my oldest brought home Arby's curly fries. Yeah, those are good too. My kids really like their fries. I like them, but I feel like, I feel like after a few of the Arby's fries, like I'm good. I don't, I don't feel like those are fries that I can gorge on. Cause there, there's a lot going on, right? Burger King, look at you guys, you're Burger King people. Had no idea. I thought Wendy's was the thing. I love Wendy's. I do. Oh, wrong bag. GQ, does GQ have burgers? Yes, the Wendy's apple pecan salad is very, very good. I have in and out five minutes from my house in California. Yeah, I'm not in California. Burger King, yuck, Wendy's good. Yeah, I love Wendy's. Their chili's good, their salads are good. I don't know. I mean, I don't have anything, I don't have any issues with Burger King either. I mean, I love that you can get onion rings at Burger King. I mean, that's amazing. Love me an onion ring. But can we talk about Wendy's Frosties? Those make me happy. Those make me very happy. Look at this, guys. We got a bonus one, but there's no room in the bags for the bonus one. Can we make room? I think we can fit one more in here. It's hot in here. You guys, you guys. How do my under eyes look? Do they look well concealed? I just tried. So you guys know that I watch all the beauty YouTubers. By the way, did you guys watch the Shane Dawson, Jeffree Star? mashup release the big thing oh my gosh so excited anyway um all the beauty youtubers talk about um tart shape tape concealer and when i go to ulta i always see it there it's like 27 dollars for a tube and let's be real i like my makeup but i also like my makeup cheap just who i am um so but, but i've been struggling with um, my kids would eat these burritos, but they're not even going to know they exist because these are for me. <laughs> these are for me. But yeah, they would. They love it. So, funny story. I made... So I made this recipe last week, actually. I'll tell you why I'm making it again right now. I made it last week. I made it during the day, and I put it in the fridge for dinner that night. My kids ate it for lunch, and they saved me none. <laughs> So I made it and I had like a hand, you know, a little taste of it when I was cooking it, but I didn't actually get any. So that's why I was craving it and wanted to make it tonight. Anyway, we do that game as, as Emmy in Japan would say. Anyway, so Lime LaCroix. I am wearing my magnetic eyelashes. I love them so much. Can you tell? Um, so anyway, so I've been struggling with my concealer. I feel like it's like every, every I've, and I've gone through a dozen of them. I feel like they're all cakey. I had one that I kind of liked, but then after a few days of wearing it, I felt like, I don't know if it was like a deeper in the formula or my skin just rejected it. It kind of started breaking up. And I'm too old to not wear under eye concealer. It's just a thing. Are you, I'm getting like hyperpigmentation under here. Do you guys get that? Anyway, anyway. Um, so I, Josie, my daughter, is thoroughly obsessed with makeup, um, which is funny because I am obsessed with makeup, but I wasn't until an adult. I wasn't even until a couple years ago. Um, but she is 
just turned eight and is totally obsessed with makeup. And so my mom got her a $20 gift card to Ulta for her birthday. So we went over there and let her spend her money. And, um, no, I don't let her wear it out on a daily basis. But also, I probably would if she wanted to. Um, they had the sharp, the sh sharp, I said sharp, the sh the tart shape tape under eye concealer, a mini like travel one in the impulse buy section. And it was still $10, which really is what I normally would spend on like a full thing of concealer. But I was like, all the YouTubers talk about it. They swear it's their staple. You guys, I'm obsessed with it. I need concealer to hide. I've been tired, tired for 10 years. Girl, 13 here. I feel ya. Um, so anyway, I don't know why I just did an endorsement for Tarte Shape Tape, but I'm, I'm loving it. They didn't pay me to say that. I don't have an affiliate link, but yeah, I love it. I'm really happy with it. You guys can tell me, how does it look on camera? Does it look like youthful and glowy? <laughs> anyway, I'm just rambling. We're like totally done cooking and there's 200 views still hanging out and watching. So you guys are awesome. I love you. You're amazing. So Kristen, I was using CoverGirl and I just feel like it wasn't doing it for me anymore. I don't know if it's because I got older or... I do have more wrinkles, like I don't know if I get closer you can see them, but like I got wrinkles when I move and it was starting to settle and anyway, the concealer is called Tarte, T-A-R-T-E, Shape Tape. I'm really happy with it. Anyway, I've only been using it for like four days, so we'll see. Maybe I'll change my mind, but so far I'm, I'm thrilled with it. So anywho guys, you're amazing. I love you. Make sure if you're not already over in the Mama Loves Food community that you join. Kelly can pop a link into the comments to hop over there. Also, there's always the link in the description. If you click share and share this video to your wall, I would super appreciate it. That tells Facebook that you're thumbs up voting for this video and you want other people to see it too. But that also allows you to easily get back to it if you want to see the link to the recipe, if you want to see the link to our community group, if you want to see the link to our Amazon shopping page, all that fun stuff. Um... Yeah, that's the best way to do it. Click share. Be in our community. Check out YouTube if you want to see old episodes. You can always go to the video section of Facebook or you can pop over to YouTube, Mama Loves Food on YouTube. Um, it's just YouTube slash Mama Loves Food. Lots of old videos there to watch. And um, yeah, make sure you join, make sure you participate in the screen cap contest. It's going to be up as soon as we pop off. Um, we'll put a um, post up in the group and somebody will win a trip to Starbucks on me. You can always, you don't have to get it right the first time around. You can scrub through, we'll put a link to the video and you can scrub through and find a really horrendous picture of me. Kelly would like that. I like the cute ones. I save those for my profile picture. <laughs> anyway, you guys have a great night. I'm sorry I keep talking. Mm. Oh, sorry. One more thing. If you like the lashes and you want them, I did get a discount code for you guys. It's just Mama Loves Food, M-A-M-A-L-O-V-E-S-F-O-O-D, no spaces, at Moxie Lash.